r slash ask reddit what expensive purchase have you made that has paid for itself many times over because you saved money in the long run when my wife and i first started dating she wanted to learn to cut hair and wanted a pair of scissors that cost 25 dollars which was a lot for us then she offered that if I bought her the scissors she'd cut my hair for free as long as we were together. She lied. After 25 years she declared that she'd repaid me for the scissors and was going to stop cutting my hair. It's still not a bad deal. 25 years of free haircuts. If you went every 2 weeks at $10 a visit. That a $6,500 return on a $25 investment. Not bad but was she still using the very same scissors? New windows on our house. Replace the old single pane metal framed windows. It was like a waterfall of cold air coming off of them and the noise from the street was obnoxious. Heating bill was cut in half. I wish my landlord would understand this. I have a bike. Not even an expensive one. Just a regular bike that I use to go to work every day. It's a half hour ride. I no longer use public transportation or a car so I save money on gas or metro tickets. Cycling an hour a day is enough to keep in okay shape so I don't need to go to the gym. Best money I have ever spent. Ducking rechargeable batteries. Xbox players save millions. Ah, hell yeah. We have a bank of AA rechargeable batteries for the 4 Xbox players in the house. Quality cold weather gear. Not only does it work better and look better. I've had a couple jackets for over 5 years now that see heavy use. Meanwhile I have a couple friends that basically buy and throw away cheap gear every season. Works like shit. Looks like shit. Ends up in a landfill. Costs more in the long run. Lose. 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 Always buy after Christmas. I've had good luck the third week of January. It think my top of the line Eddie Bauer Parker was about 75% off. My boots. I was going through a pair of $120 boots every 6 months or so. I finally broke down and bought a pair of $400 boots from a local store. Not only do they clean and oil them monthly, for free, they also re-stitch and resole them as needed. When they eventually do wear out to the point of no repair I will be buying the same exact boots from them again. Edit to add. They are Red Wing Legermax Soft Toe. Edit. Thanks for the award. Laser printers are expensive up front, but they will save you lots of money by no longer needing cartilages. Also is less wasteful because of it. Edit. Cartridges. Not cartilages. You don't even have to cut off that nose of yours. It's a damn steal. Also, one look at my inbox killed me inside. I guess thanks for that. This one sounds extremely frivolous but just hear me out. For my high school prom. I rented my dress from a popular designer rental company, so that was cheap, but I decided to splurge on a $98 pair of black heels. I worked for my money. Before then, I'd never fathomed spending so much on shoes, but when I saw them, they were the perfect any occasion nice heels. Matched literally anything. Could be dressed all the way up to prom level, but the height was reasonable enough to get away with a more professional look. 2. Let me tell you. When I slipped those bad boys on, my life was forever changed and I learned an important lesson that has saved me hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars over the years since. Expensive heels are expensive because they are comfortable. I repeat, expensive heels are comfortable to wear. I danced all the way through prom in those 4.5 inches beauties, and they remain in my closet, still regularly used at age 26. When I moved back to my hometown over a year ago I bought a 27 feet sailboat to live on because rent here is outrageous. Boat cost $4,500 to buy, and mortgage at a decent marina is about $170 a month. Rent for a studio apartment or 1BR here is $900 to $1,300. Every month I save between $600 and $1,100, so the boat paid for itself in 4-9 months. Plus I live in a sailboat down at the marina sounds so much better than I'll live in a van down by the river. You'll have plenty of time to live in a sailboat down at the marina when you're living in a van down by the river. Electric hair clippers. 50 bucks. Haven't paid for a haircut in 7 years. Yep, this is a good one. Cheapest haircut and beard trim I can find is $25 plus tip. I just shave it all off with a number 1 at home. A really good water bottle and to go mug. 
Stainless steel and insulated. Not the most expensive purchase but expensive for cups. It's so worth it. I have never had a Norgene water bottle break or leak on me. The only reason I've had to purchase a new one if because I lost one or two moving house. Noise blocking headphones have saved me money in lawyers from all the co-workers I would have killed. I bought those whatever expensive Sony noise cancelling headphones after a lot of debating with myself. My work productivity is so much higher with them that they definitely paid for themselves. I work from home. But my toddler, wife, dogs, neighbors construction, mailman, delivery guy, garbage trucks, lawn mowers, cos honking, all that little distracting stuff is gone. My wife and I just bought a house. The guy we bought the place from suggests that the house itself is somewhat expensive to heat and keep warm. So the first thing I looked at was the attic. And sure enough, there's 7 inches of insulation when there should be like 16. We're going to blast a few inches of insulation in there and probably save enough on oil to pay for it several times over throughout the life of the place. I have 6 acres of land with a fair amount of trees on it. I spent about 25k for a backhoe that has saved and will save me tons of back breaking work. It's amazing the amount of stuff I can do that would take huge amounts of energy without the backhoe. Need a tree taken down and the stump removed? Give me an hour. Need a dead horse buried? True story? Give me about 2 hours. Need a 100 foot long trench dug for water or power? Give me an hour. Need a 15 foot deep hole dug for who knows what nefarious reason? Give me about 2 hours. Need to flip a car? Give me about 2 minutes. Plow something? Completely destroy your yard? Move that dirt? Drag something heavy? Unstick something stuck? It was a shitting of money for me. But incredible what I can do. Edit this will probably never be read due to the amount of replies otherwise. But I didn't really think. Other than maybe solar panels. That mine would be the most expensive. Really though, if you have any land that isn't just flat boring farmland you need a backhoe. Also, everyone with that kind of land knows they need a backhoe. Edit again up. Uh, crap. Thanks for the little award guy up there. Edit again. Again and thanks for the other little award thing. These are my first. Thrilling. What the crap. Edit again. Thanks for the third and any additional awards. I don't know what they mean or do but they're cute. Years ago my wife and I had a Starbucks Verismo espresso machine. Each pod cost $1, and we'd each use two every day. That's $4 a day. So we were spending upwards of $28 a week just on coffee. Still cheaper than Starbucks but we grew tired of the pod trash and having to find the coffee pods we liked. So, we decided to purchase a Durarina Micro 1 coffee machine. It grinds and pressure brews coffee and espresso. We were able to reduce our costs from $4 a day to less than 20 cents per day. Assuming $5 pound coffee bought in bulk. The machine was $800. But it paid for itself in less than 8 months. That was 4 years ago this month. We've saved over $5,000 in that time. Plus no more pod trash. And we get to choose whatever coffee beans we want. Rather than being limited to what was in pods. High quality tools. I've been through so many shitty tools. Basically anything you can buy at the local obi. It's all made in China and not worth anything. Older German or British tools are fantastic and will last 100 years with some love. Funny enough, some of the best tools I've ever used came from garage sales or estate sales. They typically came from older people who've had them for years but no longer need them. And the best part is that they can be incredibly cheap. So years ago when I started a warehouse job I dropped about $170 on a pair of decent Red Wing boots. Everyone I worked with said it was ridiculous but they would go through a pair of cheap boots a month. I still have my original pair, but I need to retire them. Came here to say this. Spent ages 1630 doing construction while wearing $30 Walmart boots and I never had a pair that lasted more than a few months. My mom bought me a $200 pair of Red Wings for my birthday and now I won't wear cheap boots. Ended up losing them to a pitbull pup. Otherwise I'd still be using them today. I bought a 500.00 bicycle to use as my main transportation. 500 doesn't sound like a lot but when you're only making 8 an hour. It took some time to save up for it. With public transportation being 2.50 a ride the bike paid for itself in about 3 months. I used that bike for about 3 years, 
I still have it but I moved so I can't use it for the same purposes. 23 years ago, I bought a used 1991 Toyota 4 cylinder truck, paid it off early, it's now 29 years old, and refuses to die, good gas mileage, low insurance, I change the oil myself. Hell yeah, I had an 85 pickup growing up, 22R engine, owned a 95 Tacoma for like 10 years and sold it with almost 260k. Then a couple years ago I picked up a 2001 Tacoma with 240k miles on it for $4000. Put a couple grand into it for maintenance and it became my daily driver while the nicer vehicle sits at home. 255k on it now, and I kinda want to put a turbo on it. Freakin' love those trucks. B-Day, not super expensive, but saves on toilet paper. I've used it for about a year and I love it. Taking an Uber home when drunk, then back to your car when not drunk. Why am I cheaper than a DUI or manslaughter conviction? As someone who got hit by a drunk driver this year, you are my hero. Thank you for being safe and smart. Kenmore washer and dryer purchased new from Sears in 1998. They are still going strong and I guarantee when they do kick the bucket, the new washer and dryer I'll have to get from Lowe's will be lucky to last 10 years. My wife and I have been sorting pictures. We found one of my grandson's first day home from hospital. Our tan Maytag washer dryer is in the back of the photo just delivered days earlier. The same Maytag is still working daily. It does at least a load a day. She just needs a belt every 3 years. Costco executive membership. It pays for itself every year. They are literally paying me to shop there. Ah yes. We definitely get that back every year. Very worth it for how much we spend there. Hydraulic floss has helped me keep my teeth so much cleaner saving so much on dental. I thought of a hydraulic press and you were ripping out your teeth and putting into the press. I live in Minnesota and am a single woman. One winter I missed two shifts at work because my car wouldn't start and I didn't have anyone who could jump it and roadside assistance couldn't be there for hours. After that I went out and spent a little over $100 on a portable car starter. It is a small black box that connects to the battery and jumps the car without needing someone else's car. This has saved me so much time and money. Also being a single girl who at the time worked at night, I didn't have to worry that some stranger stopping to help might have ulterior motives. I feel much safer and always keep it in my purse. Added bonus, I can charge my phone with it too. I've been singing its praises ever since. High quality kettle. Technically I didn't spend a lot money on it, but my grandma did and I got it when she passed away. By the look of the handles it's probably 20-30 years old, but the actual kettle is still in better condition than a kettle I purchased 5 years ago. A few years ago, I walked the Camino de Santiago French Way, which is 800 kilometers. I had never been on such a long hike before, but on shorter trips, I always had trouble with my feet. I'd get terrible blisters on long days and lose toenails on mountain descents. I purchased, because my shitty insurance would pay, services from a podiatrist before going on the Camino. I learned a lot about maintaining my feet, and I had no trouble on the Camino and have not had any blisters or lost nails since then. I essentially paid the podiatrist for a lesson in foot care. Maybe not what you're looking for but cloth diapers. My wife and I cloth diapered with our first child, and are using them again for our second. The initial investment was hefty. We spent just shy of $500 for about 30 diapers. However, we don't buy disposable at all. I have conservatively said we would spend $100 a month on disposable. We cloth diapered till my daughter was 2.5 years old so 30 months. That's roughly $3,000 so saving about $2,500. With our second child there is no upfront cost since we still have the diapers and he turns 9 months old in 2 weeks. So another $900 saved. Now this isn't perfect. I understand the added cost of water and detergent but imo that's negligible based on laundry for a 4 person household anyways when you figure bulk detergent and he washes. My wife would also say the environmental impact of not throwing diapers into landfills. <laughs> sewing machine. My mom bought her sewing machine at a yard sale for pretty cheap before I was born. She never did too much with it. Fast forward to now. I've put miles upon miles of stitching down with that thing. 
and I found the exact same machine at a thrift store for 8 bucks. I bought it for parts, since it's much dirtier and beat up on the outside than mine. Old cheap machines are the best, I don't trust newer machines. A stainless steel Rolex about 50 years ago. I haven't had to replace batteries like in a quartz watch. I haven't had to replace a watch because of heavy rain or getting pushed into the pool or ocean. It keeps perfect time so I haven't missed appointments, planes or trains and I don't have to remember to wind it up. And when the coronavirus gets me, I'm 70 years old, it will go on to my children who will probably use it for another 50 years. Overtone conditioner, expensive stuff, but for 30 bucks I've been able to keep my red ombre red for 6 months, usually it fades in 1 2. A very expensive suit, this was the late 90s and I was 20 years old getting paid by the hour to do glorified help desk work, I had dropped out of college a couple semesters and because I needed to work, a recruiter called me out of the blue saying they needed someone right away, could I interview the next day. The employer was the largest privately held company in the US and they had a reputation for being a very conservative suit and tie operation. All I had was a poor fitting sport coat I got when I worked at Circuit City. I called my father and he said go to Nordstrom's, explain the situation and they'll get one done for you. So that's what I did and $600 later I'd emptied my bank account and was walking out the door with a new suit freshly altered that night. I did the interview and just hit it out of the park. They offered me $55,000 starting salary to do app support, which in the 90s was a crap ton of money for a guy going from making not a lot of money. Decent coffee maker, espresso maker, I drink 2 double shots a day, that thing paid for itself within a month, I also don't need to leave the house, making the espresso takes literally 1 minute, and quality even with pre-ground coffee is better than of non-cafe coffee from around the corner. Now, the grinder is something I still have to justify for myself. As of yet I'm too stubborn to pay a reasonable price for orders of magnitude better tasting coffee. Edit. Just to clarify, I didn't mean anything fancy. The espresso maker I bought was about 150 bucks at the time. It's not amazing. But like I said, it paid for itself and let me stay at home. Which as of now is more valuable than I could have foreseen. I will buy a grinder someday, but I am not looking to buy one right now. My homemade coffee I just drink for the caffeine. And I have a lot of other stuff of higher priority that has to be paid for. A reliable vehicle. My home gym. Cost 6 years ago 1200 euros. Cost and save gym expenses 6x 600 euros. Stupidly ducking expensive sleep aid pillow for a baby. Our other parent friends had got them and swore it helped their newborn sleep for hours at a time. What bullshit. You can't get babies to sleep. They are little balls of mental turmoil and sleep torture. But, in pure ducking exhaustion and despair we paid over 110 pounds for this stupidly shaped ducking retarded pillow thing. I hated myself for even playing along. Let alone having a 1% slimmer of hope it would help. Sweet. Mother. Of. Duck. It worked. Day 1. Kid slept 3 hours more than normal. That's 35 pounds per hour. Day 2. He slept for 4 hours. That's 7 in total. Down to about 15 pounds per hour. Very soon. This retarded pillowy snake oil piece of middle class branded. Snobby dunt targeted. Yummy mummy advantage taking bullshit had paid for itself a million times over. It saved my marriage. My sanity. My health. My job. I ducking love you. Sleepy head pillow. You extortionately expensive piece of cotton and fluff. That's worth every ducking penny I paid. Oh. And an Osprey backpack that the kid sits in. That mother ducker has traveled the world with us. And made our lives immeasurably happier. You can't push a pram up ducking mountain goat tracks across three continents. Booyah. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.